What's up, people? I'm George, and this is The Collecting News, the show where I bring you my top picks for this week in collecting. And as always, guys, I'm doing fantastic. It's been a good week so far. Week is almost over. We're on hump day, and I'm going to Disney this weekend, so whenever I'm going there, you know I'm excited. going to be taking my kids, and I'm pumped. I can't wait to get there. Uh, other than that, we had a release date for Borderlands 3, which is coming out September I'm really excited to play that game. I've always been into Borderlands, so I'm really pumped to get to check that out. Uh, Going to be playing that on PlayStation. If those of you guys who will be joining, you know, if you got on PlayStation in the comments, let me know your gamer tags. I'll friend you, and then you know, when the game comes out, we'll get a chance to play together. So just let me know. Uh, and then other than that, we got to see some new XM Studio statues. You know, we got to see the Colossus and the Magic, and then I gave you guys a little cameo of Sabretooth. And all I heard from everybody was, "Why not Sabretooth?" Well, don't you worry, I got you on this episode. So I'm not going to get into all the little things about everything else that happened this week. I'm ready for collecting news, so let's do this. So first up this week, we got Sideshow Collectibles with the new Jean Grey premium format figure. Here she is. Oh, shit. No, nope, that's not right. Hold on one second. All right, there you go. So when we first saw the teaser of this one, all of us were like, and then when they finally showed the images and we got to see what the exclusive was, we were all like, Okay, what the f I mean, seriously, Sideshow, what were you thinking about with the flames? It looks like she's got little baby wings. Find the wings! Oh, they're beautiful! <laughs> so first up, I love her. I think she does look really good. I'm not feeling the exclusive. I'm just telling you right off the bat. I think that the flames was an afterthought. It's the way I feel about it. You know, I'm just gonna get that. Let's get that out right now. What I don't like about the statue, those flames. I'm not feeling it. I don't like that they're just sitting on the neck like that. It looks strange. And it's like she's coming into the Phoenix power. And we, we don't want to see that. You're not going to show that in a panel on a comic book, right? It's not going to be like she's coming into it. She's either in the Phoenix form or she's Jean Grey. So I just, I feel like that was a miss on their, on their part. You know, it's kind of something similar to like what they did with Lionel, right? You know, we want to see Lionel holding the sword up in the air, but instead they gave it to us with him like half cocked and he's not all the way up there. And I think that's kind of what they did here. Now, aside from that, I think the portrait on the exclusive is fantastic. I really think it's very pretty. And I'm hoping that those flames are just like a magnet piece that's on the neck and you can, you know, display without it. It's because if that's the case, I'm sold on it. Everything else about the statue, I like a lot. I love the pose. I love the colors. I think the colors are nice and bright and vibrant. I really like that idea to have the pink flame going on at the bottom there. Um, I think, again, the suit looks very iconic. looks very similar to the 90s X-Men style. It has a little bit of a twist to it, but it's very, very similar to the 90s X-Men. I like the brightness of the colors on that. I love the hair. The way the hair flow is, the way, the, the way she has that, just like flowing in the wind, makes it very dynamic in my opinion. Um, it's just very pretty, very beautiful looking portrait as well. I think she's extremely beautiful. I, I love everything about this statue. I don't think this is an exclusive or fail. I don't think you got to run out and go buy the exclusive. I think if you if it's not you know an issue to you, the way that the exclusive portrait is, definitely go and pick it up. Even for you guys who are not going to display it with the exclusive, I still recommend you guys pick it up. It's because, you know, the exclusives are generally more valuable on the other end. But still, this is not for me something that if the exclusive sells out, that I'm going to be like, I'm not going to buy the regular. It's because I think the regular is very, very beautiful. So, yeah, I, overall, I think it's an extremely nice piece. Very nice addition to the X-Men line. You know, I, I like that as well. I can't wait for them to release some more dudes, though. It's like we got nothing but women showing up. All the female ladies, but there's no there's no men, man. What happened to Gambit, Cyclops? I mean, what's up with those guys, man? Come on. So this one's going to be uh, the exclusive at 585 and the regular at 565 So I think that's cool as well. But I think there was speculation that she might be more expensive than Mystique was or even uh, Psylocke. But I think Psylocke is a little bit more money than she is. And it turns out that she's not, so that's an added plus. So, yeah, she goes up for pre-order tomorrow, April 4th. I'm interested to hear if you guys are going to go pick her up. Will you get the exclusive? Does the exclusive even bother you? This is the most controversial piece this week, so let me know in the comments below. All right, and then next up, we have Prime One Studios with their Ash Williams Evil Dead 2 statue. And this one, I can honestly say, has all of us saying... Because it is that dope. I gotta admit, I saw this one at Winter Wonder Festival in Japan, and I was impressed the moment I saw it. 
Now, for me, I'm not a big horror guy. I'm straight up, I'll tell you guys the truth, don't really watch horror movies. But as far as 80s iconic horror flicks go, I love Evil Dead. The Evil Dead 2 and The Evil Dead are both really awesome movies, in my opinion. Very cult classic movies. And I, I feel that way about this movie that much. You know, it's you got a, the hero played by Bruce Campbell, and it's a real fun movie. And I think that Primal Studios captured his likeness very well. I, I love it. It's, it's really cool. It's a very big statue. I'm not going to lie. This thing is 96 centimeters tall. I believe this is considered one of their half scale lines. It's part of their master line edition. So usually those are very big statues. And, and this is not, you know, no doubt this is definitely a huge piece. So you got, you know, Ash Williams there in the, the log cabin from the movie. And then, you know, he's standing over there on top of that witch. That's the best thing I could call it, that witch zombie looking thing. And I think all of the little Easter eggs is really what makes this statue. You know, you have Deerhead there from the movie, the book. You know, you got his hand there holding the chainsaw, which is really cool. The witch, like I told you before, you know, she's down there on the bottom there. The wood on this whole base looks realistic. I think that's fantastic the way they managed to pull that off. You know, you got the hand that was cut off and you know, remember it chases after him in the movie. So I think that's pretty funny. Um, you know, and, and everything about it just speaks Evil Dead 2, in my opinion. So this is a very, very cool piece. So again, guys, keep in mind, this is a very big statue. At 96 centimeters, you're talking about 38 inches in height. And when you see this thing in person, that's when you really can tell what, what this, how big this thing is. It's practically a small child. I'm not kidding you. It's a very big piece. So this one is running $1,499 and has a limited edition size of 500. So with the size of the statue and with what you get with the piece, you know, you get that extra portrait with the exclusive. I feel like it's it's a valued piece in my opinion. You know, this is the only statue I've ever seen of Ash Williams. It's the only statue I've ever seen of Evil Dead too. So I think it's cool that they're finally giving something to this movie because it, to me, like I said, it's an, it's an 80s classic. I think it's, a, it's an awesome movie. So I'm interested to hear as always, guys, you know, are you guys interested in getting this piece? Now, Prime One Studios hasn't been dropping their stuff on Sideshow's site. We found out this past week that they're actually looking to finalize a United States warehouse. So that means that we are looking at the possibility of being able to buy directly from Prime One Studios and still get that nice shipping that we get from Sideshow. So I think that's going to be cool. So I can't wait to see what that's all about. Let me know, are you guys going to get this statue in the comments below? Go ahead. All right, so before we get into my favorite piece of this week, I got three XM Studio statues to share with you guys. We got sneak peeks on them, so check these things out. I got some images to show you guys. Here we go. So the first one is XM Studios Magic. So for those of you guys who are X-Men fans, you guys already know who Magic is. If you don't know who she is, she is the younger sister of Colossus which is awesome. I love the way this thing looks. She's standing on top of the Sentinel base like all of the other X-Men pieces are from X-Men Studios. I think she looks very cute. She's got that little sassy walk going on right there with the swords all out. I like the colors on this one. What I especially like on it is that flame skull thing that's going around her, showing off her, her abilities, which I think is cool. So really awesome statue. I can't wait to see more on this one and when it's gonna be coming up for pre-order. So the next one is Colossus himself. This one looks outstanding in my opinion. I like the way he's standing there holding that other piece of the Sentinel like he's gonna whip it at somebody. And it looks cool, he's in the heat of battle, which is awesome. I like the way the boots look. They got that texture going on into them. The metal looks really good. You know, and he just looks very powerful. It's probably one of the most powerful looking poses I've seen for uh, Colossus in a licensed studio piece. So I think that's really neat and very cool that they're making this thing. So I like that XM Studios is going down the line and making all these XM statues. You know, because a lot of these characters aren't getting that much love from the other studios. And it's awesome that they're going down and, and making these other characters like Colossus and like Magic. Especially Magic. That's one that you definitely don't see too often from a licensed studio. So really cool. Really digging the way Colossus looks. Now the one that everybody's been asking me about this week is Sabretooth. And here he is. Sabretooth is looking dope. I really like the way he came out. He looks like he's standing on parts of the X-Men mansion, which I can only assume from what I'm seeing here. It looks pretty cool the way he looks. It looks like he's feral, ready to attack and ready to lunge out at Wolverine. I like the way the anatomy looks on him. I love the portrait. He has that real angry, feral uh, look about him. So very awesome look to the statue. I like the pose and everything about it. I think it's definitely going to be an awesome addition for Wolverine fans and for X-Men fans. 
So remember, guys, if you're interested in getting any of these XM Studios X-Men statues, say that three times fast. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. I've already screwed it up a couple times. <laughs> if you're interested in getting any of these, hit me up. I could definitely get these for you. Big thanks to my boy Anthony for hooking me up with these pictures so that I could show on this video. So definitely thank him. If you're in the Marvelous Nights group, send him a shout out. Tell him thank you for, for sharing these pictures so that we could get this on the show tonight. So again, guys, in the comments below, I want to know which one was the best of the three. Which one do you guys like? Was it Sabretooth, Magic, or Colossus? Let me know in the comments below. Go ahead. All right, and then lastly, my favorite collectible this week is not even a big statue. It's a little small statue of Joker, and it's just proof that it's not always about the size, but what you bring to the table. This thing is fantastic. It's by Queen Studios. So what's really neat about this is Queen Studios got their start by making these really realistic-looking busts so they had one of logan they had one of joker uh, i think they did some of the terminator and these things look ultra realistic i mean they're very awesome looking pieces so now they have a dc license and they're making some badass dc statues and i really enjoy the way this joker looks it's very original it's nothing that i've ever seen before you know i like that it's kind of like a caricature of joker you know it's got this evil devilish grin which i dig i love that the fact that his head is a little bit oversized to the body it's very animated looking, which I love about it. Love the hair flow. You know, I like how it's all shaded and everything. I love the eyes. It just looks so crazy, you know? And, you know, the colors are nice and vibrant. He's standing on that base that looks to be like a money bag, I'm assuming. You know, it's zipped open and money's kind of like flowing out. Um, I like that it has that stick of dynamite down there at the bottom, you know, just to show you how crazy he is. And then he has that vat of what looks to be like joker fluid or acid or something from like ace chemicals i can imagine just spewing out of the pipe behind him which just gives a little bit of dynamic peel to the whole the whole composition so just a really cool little piece so from what i heard this is still pending approval but dc collectibles if you're watching this video please leave it as is i love the way this statue looks i want to own this piece i'm definitely going to buy it if you just leave it as is i like it i love it i think it looks awesome I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done to it, in my opinion. I love Batman. I love the Joker. This would be awesome to have in my office, and I think it's cool. It's the right size, and it's the right look. All right? So that's it, guys. I want to know what you guys think about this video. Tell me which was your favorite piece. Was it this one? Was it one of the XM Studios statues? Was it the Prime One Studios Ash? Or was it the Sideshow Collectibles Jean Grey? Let me know in the comments which was your favorite piece. If there was something that I missed, also let me know in the comments what was what was the statue that were, or collectible or whatever it is that should have been on this list. Just let me know, and I'll look into that for next week, and maybe that'll end up on my list next week. Maybe something I missed, but I don't know. Let me know. So otherwise, guys, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Please leave me a thumbs up. Ding that bell to become part of the notification squad. You can catch more of the collecting news videos on Wednesday nights. Every Wednesday night, I try to make this a weekly video, so definitely check me out next week as I'll have a new one for you guys. You can catch all of our videos at mcecentral.com. I'm going to be coming back at you next week, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, keep it marvelous.